classical day. Yom Kippur, or the Day of Atonement, is a special day when Israelites are to fast, meditate, and reflect upon their sins, ask forgiveness from their fellow men and the Divine Spirit. All the shops are closed, the streets are free of car and public transportation, and a unique tranquility dawns on this usually very volatile and hectic country. While some of the inhabitants of this land follow these instructions, half of the population go on their bicycles in groups ranging from 2 to 35, young and old, and ride the streets like raving maniacs. Other activities aside from atoning and riding and going bananas include spending time on the beach in a zen state of playing matkot. Matkot is an Israeli game with no winning or losing, which will make it very hard to market in America. The sound of the ball is most enchanting and brings the players to a zen state, that is, if a fight does not erupt before. Here you can see them getting ready for the exciting game. As skeptical as we are about the financial matters, an actual proposal is being brought to the table and it sounds not only promising, but also fun! The Hive currency will be introduced to the group, and I bet you and me that if it's anything like Casino Night Cheap's method of distribution, we will all be filthy rich in no time. The festival in Kabul, Hilo Magazine, The Hive, and The Sixth Dimension is to host the closing night of the Afghan music festivals, the first one in 35 years. It will be at the Guanas Ballroom. The Hive and the extended family has been an enthusiastic supporters of this noble cause and are very proud of Daniel Gersel and Hilo for co-producing this historical event. And more important, my grandmother was happy to say she read about it in the newspaper. That, by itself, is a historical event as well. NPR interviewed Daniel Gersel, just follow the link, and The Hive was featured in Radio Liberty. And now, a quick overview of The Hive projects in the making. Jen is finally weaving The Hive's fashion line, starting with three exciting new outfits for the ladies of the extended family. Michelle's chairs involves Michelle and chairs. Anyway, last but not least, Rob found a hive in Great Britain. They are big, blooming, and stylish. That is just to show you that the Hive concept is one of telepathic qualities, since we had nothing to do with the Manchester comb. Now we have to find some sort of ambassador type of uh, uh, person to tie connection with uh, Britain. We leave you with this happy note of growth and no gossip whatsoever. We also apologize for the delay in this week's edition. We can assure you this will happen again. This is your irresponsible, unreliable, and irresistible Hive Flash News. See, we ain't got no swing except for the rain and the crunch of thing. The ice is coming, the sun's zooming in. Meltdown expected, the wheat is good in. Engines stop on him, but I have no fear. Cause London is drowning out